should to have a fighting chance to win that war. The Russian Navy, the Russian Navy, nuclear powered Navy, must have access to the Mediterranean Sea. <coughs> the only way that the Russian Navy can get access to the Mediterranean Sea is if they can pass through the Bosphorus. And the city of Istanbul is located on both sides of the Bosphorus. Istanbul used to be called Constantinople. Today, Istanbul is a NATO city controlled by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. But the Prophet he was seldom made a prophecy that you will conquer Constantinople. And he praised the Amir of that army and he praised that army. Ni'am al Jaysh, Ni'am al Amir. I understand that prophecy to be located in Akhir al Zaman, not the previous ones, previous conquests. And so I'm anticipating civil war in Turkey so that the Turkish people can liberate themselves from the control of the Turkish armed forces which are pro-Israel. And that, that civil war will result in victory for Islam. And so NATO will lose its control over Constantinople. Once that happens, the Russian fleet can now enter the Mediterranean. And so nuclear powered submarines and ships passing through the Bosphorus into the Mediterranean. China is also a nuclear power. And China also has submarines and ships with a nuclear arm. And guess where the Chinese are now building a naval port? Do you know? China is building a naval port on the southern tip of Sri Lanka. So you're going to have the Russian Navy coming from the north and the Chinese Navy coming from the south. So this is going to be a war that will be a little bit even, more evenly balanced. Yeah. When I said 50 years from now, Nabi Isa will come back. 50 years from now. Oh, they beat me up. They beat me up in New York. So I changed it. I said, children now at school should live to see it. And nobody beat me up anymore. <laughs> so I don't, I don't say 50 anymore. I said, children up at school should live to see it. <laughs> uh, when we give time frame, we're only making plausible guesswork. We can be wrong. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I was saying 50 years. So now I should be saying about 35. But others, my students are saying to me, Shake, you're wrong. It's less than that. <laughs> it's less than that. Hmm? They could be right. It could be less than 35, but it's not 350 years. The young man is saying that Pakistan is an, an ally of China. No. No. That's just a minor insurance policy that they bought. <laughs> Pakistan is most firmly an ally of Israel. And when the last punishment comes, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. The question is, can we relate events that are occurring in many parts of the Muslim world, including Malaysia, with the fitna of God and Mabar? Actually, the word is not fitna, it's more facade than fitna. Oh yes, the facade of Gog and Magog is multidimensional. 
Oh yes, there is political oppression. It's part of the agenda of God and Madhara. There is economic oppression. Your daughter, you know, you know your daughter. She's Indonesian. She's also my daughter. And you should see the tears coming from her eyes. Our daughters are in Singapore serving the girl as domestic servants and being paid the salary of a dog. Our daughters. She paid three hundred dollars a month. Here she's paid six hundred ringgits a month. Would any Singaporean girl work for that wage? Now don't come to me with the argument. But when she takes the three hundred dollars to Indonesia, it's a lot of money. Because justice demands that you be paid the wage of the market in which you are working, not the wage of another market. So don't make the mistake. Is there any Singaporean girl who will work for that wage and do that job? Come on, Lee Kuan Yew, answer me. With all the studies you did at Harvard, <laughs> making Singapore the model state, the answer is no. No, that's your question. Will any Malaysian girl work for that wage in Malaysia? Do you say what? The answer is no. That's the question. So you are pressing my daughter. When men are oppressed, ours anger is terrible. Can you imagine what it must be like up there when women are oppressed? Can you imagine? What kind of anger there is over there when children are oppressed? That oppression is around the world today. God and my God and the Jah. I'll tell you the result. In Surah Al Isra, Allah tells us what He's going to do to the oppressors. And to those who choose to continue to reside amongst the oppressors in their cities, he says in Surah Al Isra, "وَإِنْ مِنْ قَرِيَةٍ إلَّا نَحْنُ مُهْلِكُهَا قَبْلَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ أَوْ مَعْزِبُهَا ذَابًا شَرِيرًا كَانَ ذَلِكَ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَسْتُورًا." This is آخر الزمان. You cannot understand this ayah except in the context of Akhir Zaman. And there is not a single town or city that will not be destroyed. So the Holy Swan, Allah will destroy them all. And those who escape destruction will be punished with terrible punishment. And this is something inscribed in the book. So the study of God and Magad and the economic oppression, the monetary oppression with its bogus and fraudulent and utterly haram paper money, the oppression that comes now from Islamic banks who say that they engage in halal transactions. But in effect, in their so-called murabaha, they are lending money on interest, but disguising it as a sale. I call it backdoor riba. If you differ with me, no problem, no problem. We differ, okay? You have your opinion, I have mine. You see, check him around as well. But if you come after me with boxing gloves. 
to attempt to demonize me and to prevent me from preaching and teaching. Well, then I have an answer for you. I will show patience and patience and patience until patience is no more. And I'll say, come. Come, Islamic Bank. Come, let us both pray to Allah and ask Allah to curse and to punish with the greatest possible punishment. Whosoever from amongst us is wrong on this issue. War comes and Israel wages wars to expand her territory. What's going to happen to Saudi Arabia? Okay. This is my opinion. I believe that those who rewrote the Torah to say that the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates, they did so because the Jews lived in Egypt for 400 years. Nabi Yusuf alayhi salam lived in Egypt. Nabi Musa alayhi salam lived in Egypt. Nabi Harun alayhi salam lived in Egypt. And the Egypt that they lived was not the whole of Egypt. Misir in the Quran refers to the eastern delta from the river Nile to the Red Sea. That is Misir, not the whole of Egypt. So they are saying this is a part of the Holy Land. The river Euphrates because the Jews were taken into exile in Babylon. And they lived there for hundreds of years. So they say that is also a part of the Holy Land. But the Jews also lived in Medina. Oh yes. So although it's not there in the Torah, it is not far-fetched for us to say that there is going to be an attack on Medina. And so something will have to, have to happen in Saudi Arabia. For the Jews to say of Saudi Arabia that it is now rising and turning into a terrorist state. Yeah. That he's asking about is very important for us to memorize. The dua has come with different versions. You can memorize anyone. They're all in Sahih Bukhari. Allahumma inni أعوذ بك من عذاب القبر. Allah, I seek refuge with thee from the punishment of the grave. When he draws there, until you want the punishment of the grave. If you have not had your dinner so far, so you are going to have any dinner tonight. In Surah Al-Zumar, Allah says that He takes the souls at the time of Mawr. But for those for whom Mawr is not yet a day, He takes their souls while they are sleeping. And when He takes the souls while they are sleeping, He then keeps those souls for whom Mawr is written. وَيُرْسِلُ الْأُخْرَى إِلَىٰ أَجَلِ الْمُسَمَّةِ And he returns the other souls for a period of time with his prescribed. But during that time, when the soul has been taken and not yet returned, there is no way to tell that that person is still alive. But all the medical evidence would show no sign of life. So if Allah wants to punish you with one of the punishments of the grave, He can do this to you. He can take your soul and people will believe that you are dead.